Hello everyone, Dolphin Oracle here again. We're going to be taking a look at your Office application options in Antix, and in specifically, I'm talking about LibreOffice. If you've never used LibreOffice, LibreOffice is an offshoot of the old OpenOffice, which is more or less a Microsoft Office clone. Um, well, it's found in the Office tab of the Start menu, and you get a, a overall LibreOffice launcher. You get Calc, which is a spreadsheet. You get Draw, which is kind of a drawing application, publishing kind of application. Um, you Impress, which is like uh, similar to Microsoft PowerPoint, and Writer, which is your word processor, very similar to Microsoft Word. Um, let's go ahead and crack open Writer. A lot of people use Word applica uh, use these applications, and you see it looks like an older version of Microsoft Office, but that is only skin deep. It's actually very uh, up to date. It opens all the latest file formats, and um, but it doesn't have that ribbon interface that some people have a mixed feeling about. And LibreOffice has the traditional button bar interface. Button bar is completely customizable. You can even have, make your own button bar. It's pretty nice. Uh, it's got a lot of neat features that if you're used to an old version of Office, you you may not even have uh, right now. My favorite being the export to PDF which takes whatever document you're working on turns into a PDF document directly. Uh, it's a pretty nice uh, and handy feature um, as far as what kinds of documents you can uh, open or save to. Well, you can save uh, to a tremendous number of Word type documents. There's cross compatibility with Microsoft Office. As far as what files they'll open, well, it's every file you could po probably possibly imagine. If it's a spreadsheet, a, a word processing file, or a um, or a or a PowerPoint presentation, you can probably open it. There's even filters for some for some uh, Word Perfect. Uh, if 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 you can believe that, the, there's still filters for that. Lotus Word Pro, everything is in here. Uh, uh, also, its native format is called the Open Document format, but you don't have to use it. You can uh, you can save as a doc file, and whoever has it in Microsoft Word will open right up. Uh, it's pretty nice. I'll I'll, uh, I'll open up a file just to show you how it looks. I've got a couple sample files. These are just old announcement sheets from my Boy Scout troop, and you can see it looks fine. Um, formatting is correct. If we take a look at, uh, let me uh, pull open the file, same goes for uh, the spreadsheet program, Calc. Again, same big button interface uh, that's completely customizable, uh, but all the functions and dates and things will transfer just like your X Microsoft Excel Shed sheets. One app most people don't think about is a presentation program, and LibreOffice has that too with the application called Impress. And you can see the, these slides were actually done in Microsoft PowerPoint, and you can see they look absolutely fine. The compatibility is very good these days between LibreOffice and Microsoft Office. In fact, the only hang up I've seen is if you don't have the same font for some reason. Um, as long as you have all the same fonts, formatting will be preserved very well. And in fact, I mean, you may find you like some of the options in LibreOffice better than Microsoft Office. So if you've got your app, if you've got LibreOffice working with uh, in Antics and you like it, hey, it's open source. There's a Windows version. Go put it on your Windows machine. Then you've got 100% assured compatibility between the two. For tips, tricks, and how-tos, head over to antics.mepis.org. Throw up a post at antics.freeforms.org. This is Dolphin Oracle signing off. Have a great day.